but even when this is definite integral. And our integral is from 0 to 1 square root of 1 plus x dx. Okay, here, first step, we have to just solve the integral first and then use the lower and upper limits to evaluate the integral. So here, let's first solve just the indefinite integral, that is square root of 1 plus x dx. And here, I can rewrite this square root as a power. 1 plus x to the power of square root is a power will be 1 half dx. And now here I can use u substitution. So u is 1 plus x. Then if we differentiate both sides in the respect of x, that will be du equals to dx. Okay. Then next, let's do the u substitution here, integral of, and 1 plus x is u, u to the power of 1 half, and dx is du. Okay, now as you can see here, we can use just the power rule of the integration, then it will be u to the power of 1 half plus 1 is 3 half, over 1 half plus 1 is 3 half. Okay. Now let's simplify. Here, this uh, denominator, we can uh, multiply both numerator and denominator by the reciprocal of denominator. In that case, our denominator will be cancelled. So our answer will be without denominator. Okay. Is our uh, 3 and 3, 2 and 2 will be cancelled, and we are left with 2 third times u to the power of 3 half. Okay, and our result must be in u term, oh sorry, in x terms, okay, because our integral is given in x terms. So in that case, we will have 2 third times. Denominator of the power is 2, that means it is square root. And u, u is 1 plus x. And numerator of power is 3, that means this 1 plus x quantity cubed. Okay, now once we finished solving the integral, now we can use this our result to evaluate the definite integral. So, the integral here will be 2 third times square root of 1 plus 1 plus x 1 plus x 1 plus x cubed and we must evaluate our integral from 0 to 1. Okay? Now, when we evaluate, we first plug in the upper limit, which is 1, and then lower limit, 0. Okay, then I can uh, factor out 2 thirds. Okay, now let's, let's start plugging in our limits. So, upper limit is 1, substitute for x. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 cubed is 8, so that will be square root of 8. And we have to subtract and evaluate by substituting the lower limit. So lower limit is 0, substitute for x, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 cubed is 1, square root of 1 is 1. Okay, this is our result, so I can write it like without outer bracket, so that will be 2 over 3 times square root of 8 minus 1. Okay, so this is the 
value of this definite 